Hey guys, today what I have for you is a quick product review of something called the Solo Stove. And you might have seen this advertised on some of the prepper sites, um, also on Amazon maybe if you've been uh, buying some prepping gear. But they're really popular stoves and I've been using it now for the last few months and I really like them. So I just kind of want to do a quick review about it. And basically it runs purely on wood. Uh, you can also use those little um, sterno type heaters as well. You can put them in on top of this grill and cook off, uh, off off of that heat. But what's great is if you don't have that, you can use just little twigs and branches that you find outside, which pretty much any area that you're going to live in is going to have that. Um, so the components really, it, what it comes with is just a, a nice little storage bag and it has two, two parts. And the first part is just the main burner and this little top that you know it stores inside like that but when you flip it around it acts as a, a holder for whatever you're cooking on um, in case this in, for example this pot here and you can just if you see that there's no gap as far as there's little holes but the gap is here and that's where you keep feeding it uh, more and more sticks if you have a pan or if you have a pot uh, cooking on top of it and um, I'm going to show you how this works outside, but before I do that, I just want to explain real quick how this overall stove works. And as I mentioned before, it's a wood gasifier stove. And basically the way that it works, it, it, it's really efficient because not only does it burn the wood directly, but it also burns the gases that the, the wood gas that comes off of the wood uh, as well. So it, it's a really efficient stove and similar to a rocket stove, it, it, it can burn both the wood and the gas the wood gas that comes off of it and, uh, and be really highly efficient that way. Another thing I wanted to show you too real quick is this is uh, also from Solo Stove. It's a, it's a little pot and it's a really nice pot. Um, it's not required that you have one of these obviously to work with this. You can you cook, um, you know, put a frying pan on top of there. Any other camping pot that you might have can go right on top of it. The reason why I like this is just the size. Um, you know, it fits, it's made for this stove, so it, it heats it really well, but also um, it acts as like uh, another storage container. So even if I put this outer bag on it, it will store really nicely right inside of this, this pot here. Uh, and it has a nice little lid there. So your whole unit can just store in this simple bag and you can throw this with your camping gear or uh, in your bug out bag whatever however you, you want to store this thing so so let's take this thing outside we'll get a, a, a closer look at how, how it works in, in real life and uh, we'll see what you think all right so we got the stove out here you can see that there's a lot of snow it's actually a pretty cold day in the single digits. Um, I just got some twigs and branches from a nearby hemlock tree. Uh, they're standing dead so basically you, you don't want to pick stuff up off of the ground especially when there's snow or other moisture uh, because you, you know you're gonna have a hard time lighting it so if you can take off dead twigs that exist on on the tree itself in pines any of the conifers like pines or hemlocks uh, fir trees that, that sort of thing they're great for that for getting standing dead, dead twigs and branches. Um, so basically, I'm just going to separate these into smaller components. I'll have my uh, larger ones here, and I'm placing it on the snow. It's cold enough outside. It's not going to pull up a lot of moisture right now. Uh, so the bigger ones I'm just going to place down just to kind of organize what I got here. And then basically, I'm separating it by kind of marker size, like the large marker, by uh, pencil size, and then pencil lead size. And that's kind of usually what I'll use for, for this type of stove here. Alright, so you can see that I separated them into three piles. These are about pencil lead size, this is about pencil size, and uh, these are about marker size. Once I get these three piles, then it's just a matter of throwing the smaller stuff in first, and uh, if you have a match, just putting a match under it and lighting it, and then slowly adding these medium sized sticks. And these are going to be your bulk fuel sticks that you'll be adding uh, to keep the fire going. If you don't have matches and you only have one of those fire steels, um, you're going to have to have something smaller than this, like dead grass, uh, fluffy materials like milkweed, uh, cotton, that sort of that sort of stuff. So, 
but in general, just for this demonstration, I'm going to show you with these three piles. So let's start off with this. So I'm going to let these smaller twigs burn first for a little bit and then uh, I'll slowly add some of these medium size. So I don't know if you can see that but it's starting to burn through those inner holes so it's jetting out through those little holes. Um, which shows you that the gas is now igniting, not just the sticks. So this is where it starts to rate, create a really efficient fire. Okay, so once it starts to gasify, and you see it coming out of those holes, at this point, I'll usually start using my uh, cooking pot. So in this case, I got some snow in here that I'm just going to melt to make water. And then I can just feed through the front here some of these bigger sticks. And that's pretty much it.